Good morning, you fellow makers, and happy new year to you. For all of you who ordered KVP ABS in our store, we got a tiny bad news for you because the pallet with the material that came from the USA is right now stuck in the customs area in the airport in Leipzig. So the delivery of your packages will delay for a few days. It depends on how quick the customs service is working in the, in the airport. So as soon as they arrive, we will send out your packages so that you're not mad at us. Please be patient with us. Thank you very much. By the way, do you like the videos in English or do you prefer the German ones? Uh, write it down in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe our videos. I guess we need one more wall mount. And as I promised you, we're gonna start developing a version 2 of this wall mount today. Um, so let's stop talking, head over to Fusion 360 and start designing this thing. There we are in Fusion 360 and at first let's start with a new sketch. On this sketch we're gonna project a polygon. From there on we're gonna do an offset plane which is uh, 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters above the original plane and on this offset plane we are gonna project the same polygon that we did project on the initial plane Now we're gonna select both polygons and go to create and select loft. With this tool we are allowed to connect both polygons to a new object. We're gonna add another offset plane from the base plane and this time we're gonna set this up at 10 millimeters height and we draw a rectangular shape on it. And from there on we do another offset plane, which is 80 millimeters above this plane, and we draw another rectangular shape on it so that we have two polygons and two rectangular shapes. Next we're gonna select both rectangular shapes and do the same. We go to create and loft and you can see that we didn't create new object this time but we did cut out the shape from the original polygon object. I did this because I'd like to have some place where the nerf guns can rest on the, on the complete object. From here on we do select both edges inside the cutout and do a little chamfer on this. Because I don't like the sharp edges and I would like to cut them out a bit more. It just looks a bit nicer. So now we are already done with the base shape. That means that we could mount a nerf gun on it, but we need to somehow mount this on the wall. And for this, I gonna project two new offset planes, which are 10 millimeters from the base plane and 19 millimeters from the base plane. And we gonna project some triangular shapes on it. Both of them we will connect with the loft tool again. And so we get a pyramid style cut out from the polygon shape.
after we have completed this, we are gonna draw a circular shape on the just created plane. With this we got a point where we can set up our wall mount with a screw on the wall. And because the edge of this extrusion is very sharp, we are gonna do a chamfer again on this with 2 mm. With this, the screws will not stick out and will end up even with the plane. But we are not yet finished. The next step that we're gonna do is to import the Makurama logo and put it on top of this object. I'm gonna extrude this here into the cylinder with one millimeter uh, because if you do it more it looks a bit weird I guess and I like it more like this. Last but not least, we got some sharp edges on the top here. And I gonna chamfer again on this with 1.5 mm so that we soften a bit these edges and they are not that sharp anymore. And with this, we just finished our object. So we can print this out and mount it on the wall. And I guess we will see this on the next video when I have printed it out. I hope you liked this video, if so, please consider to like this video, subscribe to our channel and see you next time. Happy printing!